Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I haven't done a walk to St. Vinny's in a while, so I did, and I picked up a few things. No cookbooks this time. In fact, I was having a brain cramp and couldn't couldn't remember where I saw the cookbooks. Of course, sorry for the shiny forehead. That's from the humidity of my M and Sprout shirt. Okay, one of the things I found while I was walking around is this. Gothic architecture, sculpture, and painting. I've always been interested, well, not always, but at least since high school, I've been interested in various types of architecture. So I thought, well, I'll get that. It just sort of said, buy me. It was heavy, but it was worth it. And another book that just, just sort of jumped out at me is this one, The Treasury of Irish Folklore. Okay, this one was $3, and... This one was four dollars. That's okay. Look at the stitches because she wants it. For stitch, we have this it's a little puppy. I think it's a, yeah, it's a puppy. For the blanket, specialty tool is direct, and he was five dollars. Cut the tag off for her so he, she could have it right away. Stitch, got a puppy for you. Look, want the puppy? Hey, look at the puppy. Look at the puppy. It's yours. And also for Stitch to put her toys in, I like trick or treat buckets. Two I got for free because people were leaving, well, were. They did leave, I should say. Did leave them in the breaker. This was only 50 cents. It was, it was originally a dollar. So I'm going to use that for the toys. And more books. Ooh, come here, dear. Oh, blooper alert. There. For those of you who wanted bloopers, we're leaving it. Oh, okay. Since. Coming up on Day of the Dead, I got this. Marla Cooper, A Mystery, Terror, and Taffeta. I read the forward and the beat in here. A couple goes to Mexico for their wedding, and the bridesmaid mysteriously dies. So they have to figure out what happened to the bridesmaid. I won't read it right away. I have a whole lot of books I haven't gotten to yet, but this one sounded kind of funny, and let's not go up about that, especially this time of year. I also found that since brain puzzles are supposed to be good for you, are supposed to be, this is 50 cents, Sherlock Holmes Puzzles by Brain Games. Okay, it says, this one is a Lock Helm Horses Anagram. Below is a quotation from a Sherlock Holmes story. Fill in the blanks in each sentence with a word that is an anagram rearrangement of the capitalized words. Name the Sherlock Holmes adventure from which this quotation is drawn. For example, this first one would be, he was a man of about 50, tall, poultry, oh, sorry, portly and imposing, with a massive, strongly marked face and... I'm not sure it, it's not Dancing Mom, but it's something else. And you get the point. So. And in the realm of unusual glasses, this is a frizz. I've never heard of frizz, frizz vodka from Scandia, but I like the shape of the glass. It's kind of, kind of wonky. Fits my kind of screwy lovely, spooky vibe, you know, kind of eclectic creepiness. And this, again, knockoff, but can be used as, because to me it's, well, I don't like v-necks, but it's got drawstrings, or, or lacing up, lace up front, rather, and black and white strips, so to me that can be used as, because of the kind of pirate-type detailing. Okay, come on, switch. And I, 
Not that I needed more shoes. I have my corporate golf clothes packed in suitcases in my closet because I need the space in my closet to air dry laundry. But you never know when I'm going to get to wear those things. These are perfect fit. Sort of a wingtip kind of vintage look. Let's go with skirt or a dress or pants. And that's my haul for this time. And surprisingly, this thing did not run out of memory and go. So, if you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Notification. I always do that. Hit the bell once if you want to subscribe. Twice for notifications. Feel free to share, comment if you want. We'll try to keep it friendly and not lowbrow. <laughs> like I said, we descended briefly and that didn't work too well, so I'm trying to be a little more careful with that. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, friendly but mature. Yeah, friendly and mature. <laughs> no hate speech, no hitting on each other. This is, this is not for dating and all that. Um, yes, and again, you can share these videos if you wish. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We've got all of that out of the way. Um, I have several videos up already and several more to put up. This will be in the queue along with some other miscellaneous Halloween stuff and other things. So again, I will let you guys go. Enjoy the weather. Here it's decided to be less fall-like and still summer-like humid and sticky and kind of blah. The rain was nice, but as usual, when it rains and the sun comes out, it gets humid. That's one thing I do. That's one one thing one of several things I do miss about New Mexico. The humidity would not last long after it rained. But, okay, so. On that note, stay cool, stay hydrated, Use your large umbrella and your 100 SPF. Take turns driving the hearse, and I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.